So ever since I did my MacBook Pro upgrade video, there's been tons of you guys ask me how to do this to Mac OS Sierra. Um, I did RAID 0 through Yosemite, but a lot of you want to upgrade to the newest system and there's a little bit different way. So let's start off this video. I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get an 8 gig USB stick and you're going to need to go to the App Store and download Mac OS Sierra first. If you've already done this, you can skip this step. But then you're going to need to download Disk Maker X and you're going to need the newest version that works with Mac OS Sierra. Once that's finished downloading, uh, you need to open up Disk Maker X and copy it to the application folder. Then you're going to want to open Disk Maker X and choose OS Sierra. And just go to follow the prompts and it'll create a bootable USB stick with Mac OS Sierra. And once it's finished, you'll have a bootable Mac OS Sierra boot drive. So you're gonna to need to turn off your system and you're gonna to need to restart it and hold down the Alt key. There you can choose the Mac OS Sierra boot drive and begin installing. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up Disk Utility. And you're gonna see your two drives in here. Then you're gonna to go to File and RAID Assistant. Then you're going to want to choose RAID 0 and choose your drives from the list. Name your RAID. And here you can choose chunk size. Now if you're working with videos and larger files, you want to choose a higher chunk size. If you're using more like word processing, you only need a smaller chunk size. And once you're finished, it'll create the RAID and you can see it here then you're gonna to wanna to install Mac OS Sierra. This takes a little while, so I'm just gonna super speed through it. Make sure that you plug in the power, you don't want your laptop to die. And once it's finished, it'll set it up here. And we're gonna go in and show you that the drives are in RAID 0. Here's our one drive combined with the two drives. And then I wanna show you this next part here where there's no trim. So we're gonna apply trim to these drives so that you can have trim support. Apple doesn't allow trim support on non-Apple drives, so you have to do this workaround in terminal. So you're gonna go up to Spotlight and type in Terminal. And then you're gonna type in this simple code, sudo trimforce enable, hit enter. And then type in your password, you won't see anything here. And then you just gotta follow the prompts and then you have to restart your computer. And once it's finished, you'll have trim support on both drives. And that's basically it, you have RAID 0. The one thing I noticed with Mac OS Sierra is I'm not getting near the same read and write speeds that I was with Yosemite. I tried this three different times with different chunk sizes and it didn't actually change the speed. Um, so my read and write are maxing out around 800 megabytes a second. Sometimes my write speeds drop into the 700, which is kind of not what I really want to see when I'm doing RAID 0. So I don't really know what's going on with Mac OS Sierra. I don't even want to use Mac OS Sierra, but I did this for you guys just to show you that it's possible. 